India, lands so diverse that every few steps feels like a whole new world. Although transforming at a rapid pace, India boldly and fluently maintains its cultural, historical, and spiritual treasures. Join us as we explore the communities and traditions that are only in India. Let's talk about India's beaches. With over 7,500 kilometers of coastline, the country has no shortage of scenic spots. However, not every beach is created equal. Many foreigners have expressed disappointment at India's beaches when compared to other South Asian destinations, including Sri Lanka, Thailand, Indonesia, and even UAE. Even in popular vacation spots like Goa, it's important to understand the different coastal personalities. Are you seeking relaxation, adventure, or the best surf spots? Do you prefer full moon parties or secluded seaside bungalows? Prioritizing your wish list is essential for selecting the best beach vibe. From Gujarat to Karnataka, there are several Indian states with sandy shores. For purposes of this video, we will target the regions more popular with foreigners and not domestic tourists. Here is our list of India's top five beach destinations. Known for beautiful beaches and lush landscapes, Lakshadweep is a cluster of 36 islands in the Lakhadweep Sea off the coast of Kerala. From pale blue to deep turquoise, you will find all colors of the sea. Not all the islands are inhabited and only a few are open to tourists with required permits. Lakshadweep is also popular for water sports, including scuba diving, kayaking, and deep sea fishing. Many Lakshadweep beaches incorporate both water sports and relaxation. Kavarati Beach is ideal for photography. Minkoi Beach houses the popular lighthouse and is also a prominent center for tuna fishing. Agati Beach, with coconut palms swaying in the breezes, is famous for its coral reefs and sea turtles. Kalpani Beach is a three kilometer long, shallow and marshy beach that mainly attracts honeymooners. It comprises Tilikum, Piti and Cherium Islands and its waters offer kayaking, snorkeling, underwater photography, sailboats and pedal boats. Kadmat Beach features a large lagoon, long sandy beaches and distinct coral growth. It is ideal for sea diving, snorkeling, kayaking and sailing on glass bottom boats. Located at the junction of the Bay of Bengal and Andaman Sea, Andaman and Nicobar are a union territory with 572 islands, of which 38 are inhabited. The islands are known for white sand beaches, tropical rainforests, coral reefs, and protected marine life. Considerably less commercialized compared to other destinations, Andaman and Nicobar offer a more sustainable and eco-friendly approach to island life. Radhanagar Beach on Havelock Island was awarded Asia's Best Beach by Time Magazine. With white sparkling sands, turquoise waters, and lush green palm vegetation, it's a pristine spot for snorkeling, scuba diving, and even game fishing. Also located on Havelock Island, Elephant Beach can be accessed by boat or a 30-minute jungle trek. There are white sandy shores and stunning coral reefs. Although small, Kala Patar Beach is a good option to simply relax, grab a book, sunbathe in the hammocks, and enjoy the surroundings. Located on Neil Island, Lakshmanpur Beach is ranked as the third best beach in Andaman and Nicobar. Popular with couples and honeymooners, the shallow waters make it ideal for snorkeling and viewing coral reefs. Bharatpur Beach is known for spotting exotic flora, fauna, and corals in glass bottom vessels. With a rich marine life, the beach is also a favorite for scuba divers. With almost 600 kilometers of shoreline on the Arabian Sea, Kerala is a popular destination for beach seekers. The southern state is also admired for its backwater canals, tea plantations, crystal lakes, spice gardens, and wildlife reserves. Kovalam is one of the largest and most developed beaches in Kerala that includes Lighthouse Beach, Hawa Beach, and Samudra Beach. With a strong portfolio of hotels, restaurants, and water sports, it's a popular option for families. Located at the bottom of a cliff that's bordered by beach shacks and shops, Varkala is a laid-back alternative to Kovalam. There are many Ayurveda centers, and the area's natural hot springs are believed to have medicinal qualities. Varkala is a great spot for sunbathing, parasailing, windsurfing, and snorkeling. 
Once a small, sleepy fishing community, Merari Kulam has slowly evolved to a trendy seaside destination. Although there are several resorts, the town still has a quieter and less commercialized vibe. It's also less than one hour from Kochi and the beautiful backwater canals, making it a convenient spot for savvy travelers. Perhaps the most popular of India's beaches, Goa is synonymous with golden beaches, full moon parties, and epic sunsets. Settled by the Portuguese in the 15th century, the sun-kissed destination is a kaleidoscope of Indian and European traditions. With wildlife sanctuaries, spice plantations, seaside dining, scuba diving, and yoga retreats, Goa has many personalities. Generally speaking, the beaches in North Goa are more active, bustling, and commercialized. This includes Anjuna, Baga, and Kalangut. Vagator Beach in North Goa is split in two sections, with Little Vagator being popular with foreigners. Kandalim in North Goa has a mature vibe, while Arambul is the newest and trendiest hotspot. Overall, South Goa is more muted and less commercialized compared to North Goa. Palalam is the most animated beach in South Goa, though very clean. Patnam is a small beach with a relaxing vibe. Kola is more secluded with its own lagoon, and Aganda is quiet and foreigner friendly. Are Goa's beaches really that beautiful? It all depends on who you ask, although we believe an enjoyable Goan experience is not just about the beaches. Sample Konkan cuisine, shop the unique farmers markets, and definitely visit a spice plantation. Puducherry, previously known as Pondicherry or simply Pondi, is a union territory nestled in the southern state of Tamil Nadu. Although colonized by the Dutch, Portuguese, British, and French, it is often considered the French capital of India with the vibrant French quarter, promenade, and distinctive architecture. Although located by the sea, Pondi was not always favored for its beautiful beaches. They were inaccessible, rocky, or affected by coastal erosion. However, steps have been taken to replenish the coastlines, with Promenade Beach even being awarded the Blue Flag Certification by the Foundation for Environmental Education. From Pondi, take a short ferry ride to Paradise Beach for super soft sand and crystal waters. For the birding enthusiasts, there are also several rare species in the area. Serenity Beach has a couple's vibe, though it's also a popular surfing spot. Check out the Handicrafts Bazaar on the weekends. Located 12 kilometers from the main town, Oroville is a favorite beach in Pondi. The stunning sunrises and shallow waters make it ideal for families. For the adventurers, Karaikal Beach offers canoeing, kayaking, and volleyball. There are several water sport facilities catering to the active crowd. Are there any beaches that you would add to this list? Share in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more destination inspiration.